Good morning, Fakeaholic friends. This is still along my driveway here, um, where I have a hedgerow of fig trees that are very crowded. Um, and this fig here is LSU purple, so you know something that was bred in Louisiana. And we've got some more ripe fruits up above there that are hard to get to, but um, this one climbed up on a ladder a little bit to get. Um, it had some bird damage above it and from another fruit that I had to pull off of it. So here's the inside, um, you know, so it's a purple on the outside. This is shaded, so it might be all purple. There's some fruits there that are all purple, um, but it's got a nice berry flavor. Moderately sweet. I'd say moderate berry flavor and moderate sweetness. The fruits are medium size. Some get larger. These are probably going to get damaged by a bird before. You can see here's remnants of another fig that birds pecked on, and they're quite aggressive here. You see, here's a, a small one that's maybe overripe. I'll just carefully bite into this one. Yeah, it was overripe. So the birds didn't see that one under a leaf. Here's another small one that is quite ripe. It was, well, not quite spoiled. I'm hard to see there. I tore it up poorly. Anyway, um, you can see there's quite a few fruits in here. Someone wrote on the old Figs for Fun forum that LSU Purple they had read was resistant to root knot nematodes so I've thought about maybe trying this as a, a root stock um, for grafting other trees so I don't I think there's some root not nematodes here but it's not um, they're more of a problem in sandy soil and our soil here is heavier again this is LSU purple thanks for watching